Okay, so welcome to this new tutorial. Uh, here we will see how to do a video projection in the interior of a dome. And it will be very similar to what we did the other time. So this time I will choose a 2K uh, cut-up map. All right, and I will call that uh, dome projection dome projection 02. Zero Right, so now I have my content map. Again, if I put a video inside of it, uh, like my horse up in the master scene, inside this content map, you will see that I can send media through this content map, and we give we will give a little color label to this content map so we see what's happening here in the master scene. Alright, so now next step, uh, next step will be like the other time to go into stage element and to create the dome here. So right click, element, surface, and here you have full dome interior and I will link it to my content map. And as you see, full dome interior uh, has little particularity, it's just that uh, you see on th only the back face of the dome and so it's uh, easier to configure it. And to change that, you just have to go inside the, to select the dome here, and the renderer side, you select back, front, or both. And this uh, full dome interior is just a preset, like the other um, dome we made in the previous tutorial, but with uh, slightly different settings. So here I will uh, choose a radius of uh, 3 meter, like we did the other time. And so here we have uh, our dome. So just to show if you want to create a dome from scratch, you can directly create a surface, surface like that. Uh, we'll call it dome for now. And now it has just created a surface uh, here, this surface. And inside uh, this surface here, I can choose here the geometry type as a sphere or geosphere. And now I have my, sp my sphere here. I will just give it a little uh, rotation and in advanced parameters here I have latitude and longitude slice and I can reduce or augment uh, this to cut my sphere in order to create uh, a dome or a quarter of a dome or anything and then uh, in order to have the UV uh, my content map displayed only on the top uh, part of the sphere like I did with the full dome preset here I just added a little UV transform set up as uh, this uh, in order to transform the UV and to display the horse only on this side of the dome. If I do that again, it's a right click attribute UV transform and let's copy this parameter uh, 2552. So if I change here 25 and here 50. And now you see that my content is displayed uh, displayed on the dome. But uh, you already have a preset, so this is uh, useless to do, but so you know how to create a custom shape uh, projection surface. All right, now we are going to put some video projectors. So the thing is the same as uh, what we did uh, last time so in this case i will just put my video projector in the centers of the universe so in the center of the dome and uh, depending on how your video projector are set it up uh, you just have to move them uh, accordingly in the virtual space like that And to go faster, if you have uh, many, many, many video projectors, what you can do is uh, group them with uh, by selecting them and then Control Shift G, and then you have a group. Let's call that uh, Tree First VP. You can organize that uh, as you want, of course. And then if I duplicate this group, I just have to make a little rotation of m on my second group, and then I can duplicate. Uh, many different instances of uh, video projector. So if you have many, many, many video projector, uh, this can be useful to parameter and um, to change uh, orientation or position of video projectors. 
Okay, so now you have every video projector. If I switch between all the video projector, I see uh, what they are all seeing here. Uh, same as before, on the, under each video projector, you have a processor uh, containing uh, the full dome entire uh, surface. And again, to do the soft edges, you have uh, two options, either to do that on the wall uh, image, the wall area, area here. So with a mask, like a polygonal mask, for instance, I put in edit mode, right? Control and click to create the mask. And then you can do the mask like that. The only trouble with the, um, uh, with the polygonal mask is that, as you see, I have only a linear feather here. Only a linear feather for soft edges uh, can be a little bit uh, not enough. It's better, I think, to have a regular mask like a placement mask because inside the placement mask, as you see, you have the feather and inside the feather you have the exponent. By default, the exponent of the, of the polygonal mask is always on uh, one, so a linear gradient. So for soft edges, it's slightly better to have a ability to control the exponent. And of course, in our case, uh, as we have a 3D geometry, better to use the mask directly inside the geometry. And so if I move that a little, you see that uh, the mask is uh, acting accordingly to the deformation, the UV of the sphere uh, the projector is currently seeing. Now we are trying, uh, we will try to do uh, some uh, camera input to display in uh, real time some video uh, from uh, camera inside uh, the dome. So now to get um, to grab a video stream uh, input, I go inside Edit Preferences, Video Input, and uh, first you have to connect the camera. Here I have an old uh, camescope connected uh, to um, a video capture device. Apply Changes. All right, and now I have access to some options uh, like the Davis property. Uh, here I don't know. Uh, which kind of uh, video standard my uh, camera my camera is so i will leave that in uh, ntsc so all right apply changes and now if i go inside my master scene all i have to do is uh, create a 2d layers video input like that and uh, if i go on my content map here you see my video input so it's an old old video camera so don't do not expect a uh, much better quality and now I have my video input uh, which is a classic 2D layers and this video input uh, if I go into my preview you see that all right. you see that uh, my live stream is uh, displayed on the dome Again, if I want to display, let's say, uh, a content, uh, a background content like my uh, horse and uh, some little scenery, let's see what we have here, media, video, okay. So now is my background and if I want to put my video stream only on the uh, part of the dome and not displayed like that, I will go into preview and lock the view. So again, what I can do is create a 3D virtual screen, which I will call uh, video input projection, like that. And let's say that this uh, video input projection will be in uh, this resolution, so VGA. And in my stage element, I will create again uh, mapping element, uh, orthographic uh, y-axis. Y oh, I have no more battery in my camera, so I will do it fast. All right, and now I have my orthographic projection. If I link uh, my uh, video, my 3D virtual screen to this orthographic uh, axis, and now send my video input through this uh, video input projection, then you see that my video input is now projected 
accordingly to uh, to this uh, to this mapper to this orthographic view and what I can do also is uh, just create a camera inside of the stage this camera here and I will call uh, it camera mapping video like that and now my uh, 3d virtual screen I will change uh, the mapping element for camera mapping video here and now as you see if I go into stage element now I can uh, choose to project my uh, video live stream input directly um, where I want right now I will turn off my uh, chemiscope because it is low on battery right and kick it out of my master scene last thing uh, to see I didn't show that the on the previous tutorial you see that on each video projector you have this surface full dome interior this is useful because if you have um, different elements uh, I will create another uh, another surface and there you see that uh, this new surface I'm creating uh, I can choose which video projector will see it so I will choose to display it only on video projector 1 like that alright and now if uh, we take my video projector 1 this one and I go inside its view now you see that my video projector is seeing the uh, two elements the full dome interior and the sphere this one but if I go into my video projector 1 what I can say also is that the video projector does not see uh, the sphere here or does not see the interior dome or even this sphere it will see it but in black and so I can create uh, like that uh, masked mask based uh, directly on my 3d element all right then uh, that's all for this uh, video tutorial i hope uh, it has been useful to you and if you have any question do not hesitate to ask inside the comment thank you see you later